Now today is time for a top 10 video on some of the greatest PSN games that you really should pick up for the PS3 before the PlayStation Network store closes. So it's going to close soon. There are some absolute greats, but let's today focus on some of those games which really are worth picking up now while you can before they're potentially gone forever or there's actually maybe no way of actually obtaining those games legally to play on your system whether it's in digital or physical format in at number 10 is infamous with festival of blood now i really enjoyed infamous 1 and 2 on the playstation 3 and festival of blood was released as an additional dlc piece but it was actually a full standalone game in addition to infamous 1 and 2 which was exclusive to the playstation network store you could only download this from psn to play and the game's fantastic it's really really great you have vampiric abilities, you get to run around and take on vampire characters and it just adds a whole new element to Infamous and it was done really really well. So this is one that I would recommend picking up while you can because it never got a physical disc release. It was only a short story by comparison to the main games but it was still enjoyable for a really good few hours of fun and I'd highly recommend checking this one out. In at number 9 is the Castle of Illusion remake in HD, which I'd actually forgive you if you didn't know about this game, but man have they done a fantastic job with the art style, graphics and the music. This is really really awesome and this is a game I recall came out but I never really actually checked it out at the time. But this was out to download for the PS3 or Xbox 360. If it is one that you wanted on your PS3, or if like me you don't have an Xbox, this might be your only way of picking up this game. And I'd recommend picking this up and checking this out now while you can to add Castle of Illusion HD to your PlayStation 3 library. In at number 8 is this Sega Classic Vintage Collection game. Alex Kidd in Miracle World that they added to the PlayStation Network for PS3 and they've done an alright job, it's kind of cool with this intro section that you get. The graphics aren't as great as upscaling from the original hardware, however this is an absolute classic, one of my childhood favourites and if you haven't got it or don't own it already it's now a really expensive master system game to pick up you're talking anywhere from 70 to 150 pounds to pick this up as a physical cartridge so it's a really great way to own this game if you want to have a go have a blast and relive this game you know owning it on your ps3 it's not a bad way of getting hold of it if you want a legal version of the game to be able to own in at number seven is hardcore uprising if you're a big Contra or Probotector fan, this is the PS3 version of the Contra series. Now, it kind of feels like this is a slightly overlooked game, but I really like it. It is exclusive to download from the PS Network, so if you wanted a legal actual copy to own on your PS3, Downloading this now is the only way to get it added to your library to be able to play it. I don't know why this never got a physical. It feels a little bit of an outrage, really. I would have thought this would have deserved a release at some point. But I think it's one of those games that's loved by some people, but actually overlooked and not liked so much by others. But if, if you're liking the look of this game, I'd recommend maybe checking out some more gameplay to see if it's something that you want to pick up now from the PlayStation Network while you're able to before your chance to actually own this game is taken away from you. Oh the music, oh the music. Number 6 is DuckTales Remastered. I don't know why this never got a physical release. I would have thought Limited Run or Strictly Limited Games or something would have picked this one up. But no, no physical. But it's available now to download to your PS3 while you're able to, while the store's still open, I think this is a really, really cool game. I really love the soundtrack. I really love the sprites and the graphics. They've done some really good uh, remastered, recorded voiceovers for the characters for this game as well. And it really is a highly polished piece. If, if you're a fan of the game, you, you know you know exactly what it is. It's not going to give any massive surprises, but it's it's a really nice way to own this treasured classic, which is 
still favoured amongst many DuckTales fans today. In at number five is another childhood favourite anthem, The Mighty Daytona USA, and another Sega game to add to this list. I'm shocked, that's pretty awesome. But I really love Daytona USA. This is a really great version that was ported from the arcade original. I have to say, playing it with your controller, it feels for the first time I've got more control over the vehicle because I can actually suddenly win some of these races now, whereas back in the arcade day, those heavy steering wheels, I just found made this game really, really difficult. So I suppose this game looks like it has aged a little bit, but actually this copy for the PS3 holds up pretty well. I mean, it looks a little grainy in this footage, but I'm, I'm pretty certain it looked better on my TV when I was playing it at the time. But I really love Daytona. If you like the arcade classic, I'd recommend picking this up now from the PSN before it disappears and it's gone forever. In at number four is Tomba or Tombi. Now hear me out on this one, guys, but this is a real beloved PlayStation 1 classic game, which is one of the most expensive games to physically own. There's copies selling now from between £250 to £450 on eBay. A lot of people love this game. It is a classic. The artwork is fantastic. I recommend picking this up for a few pounds if it's a game that you've never checked out previously. In at number three is another Sega entry with Sonic. Now, some people love episode 4, 1 and 2, maybe not that many with that newer style Sonic. But for me, Sonic CD is and always will be a fantastic game. You know, that one that had the time travel, a really great game. You know, I know there's a lot of ways that you could own this game and you could have it physically via your Sega CD, which would obviously be the most preferable way to play this. But if, like me, you're never lucky enough to have the Sega hardware add-ons, picking this up for again just a few pounds into your PS3, it's a great way to play the game and I have to say it looks fantastic. So this is one of my top picks to pick up from the PlayStation Network while you've got the chance. If you think that you would like to have this on your PS3 to play at any point in the future, Get it, future, time travel, although technically here I've just gone back into the past, I think. I don't know, this game gets confusing, time travel always confuses me, but it's fantastic and it's got a lot of replay value. If, like me, you like those kind of games which are a little bit different, I highly recommend Rain, guys, Rain. This was a PS3 download exclusive, although it did actually, I believe, under a different title name, get a physical release in Japan. We were never so lucky here in the UK or in other gaming regions, but this game is really something else. It is really special. It's one that Ems and I really enjoyed playing. It's got a whole host of amazingness from some of these different creatures that will pursue you and this rain physics whereby you're actually hidden if you're out of the water but if you've got rain falling on you or you're stepping in puddles you're able to be seen and heard and then you might have a few pursuits to have to escape i i really enjoyed this game guys and it is very different to anything else that i've ever played i think this game probably features in a lot of other youtubers videos as one that they'd recommend but i played this back when it released all those years ago and I really would actually like to play it again. So I'd recommend to pick up Rain. If you're liking the look of this experience and you like those games that are a bit edgy, classic, a bit of exploration, a bit of puzzle, a bit of adventure, check this out. My top pick has to be House of the Dead number four. Now this is the arcade version, guys, and it's the only way that I'm aware of to get your hands on this game is to download this now to your PS3. I always loved this game in the arcade. It was the one with the machine gun fire. This was my favorite version of House of the Dead ever to play. And I grabbed this as soon as I could from the PSN network when it first released on the PS3. And this holds up absolutely like bliss. It is a 10 out of 10 arcade port. And I have to say here, just for this example, I mean, this plays fantastically, guys, with the move. If you've got the move accessory with the camera, it plays like a Wii shooter and you really feel like you're in the arcade. But for recording this, I used the controller. 
just to actually test if you don't own that this plays fantastically with the controller because it's got the strafing with the machine gun fire the accuracy feels on point and you've also got the sections where you need to shake to get released if you're grabbed that works really well with the motion in the six axis controller as well so i can't recommend it enough if you own move fantastic you're going to absolutely love this experience and wonder why you haven't downloaded this game previously i don't know maybe it's one that you've missed out on there's house of the dead 3 available as well which was the shotgun house of the dead game but for me this this is my favorite and, and like i said if you're only playing via the controller this is the one that i think is gonna play the best for you and the reload works really fast as well loving it so what else is missing? Let me know guys, what would have to definitely feature in your top 10? What should I reconsider? Let me know because it would be great to hear from you. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button guys. We're gonna be coming back with a lot more retro games here on Gas Loves Games. Yes mate.